Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I think I owe you an apology. I haven't been posting the videos in my usual schedule, which I decided some time ago, which was like once a week on the weekend. Then it turned out to be like Sunday and it hasn't happened. Like for the last two weeks, I think I didn't post anything on my YouTube channel. And you probably might think, what happened? Where has he gone? Has he disappeared? And there's a reason I haven't been posting my videos. So let me tell you a little bit what's been happening here so far. So as you know, last November, I came down from the UK, crossing France, and then into Spain and crossing down to Malaga uh, to spend the winter months over here. And then once in Malaga, um, there was a little lockdown in terms of you couldn't leave the city and all my plans got a little bit stopped and stalled. What I wanted to do originally, change my UK driver's license to a Spanish driver's license, which I've done. That actually worked pretty fast. There was any problem at all. And then I wanted to matriculate Jelly Bean because Jelly Bean still has the UK license plate. Before January, I was trying to get all the paperwork sorted so that I could start the process. The reason being is when you import a vehicle from a European country to another European country is usually way cheaper. There's a tax you need to pay and, and then there's just a little bit of paperwork. It has to go to the ITV as they call it in Spain, which is like the MOT in the United Kingdom. And then basically you pay the fee and that's it and the bike is imported. For that, I needed a COC document, which is a certificate of conformity uh, with the European laws. So basically it's a document that tells you all the details about the bike, like how long it is, how wide it is, the weight, the loaded weight, and all the other data regarding like emissions, noise. At first I didn't know I needed one. And I heard about that document early December. And I was like, oh my God, how do I get it? I contacted Wars in London, the dealership where I bought Jelly Bean, and I got in contact with Robert Wars, and he helped a lot. He set everything in motion, you know, send all the details to Harley Davidson Europe, which are the ones who issue these documents. The problem was Harley Davidson Europe was closed at the time and wouldn't open till the new year. So I lost all the time to get the process started and it got me into a waiting game. I just needed to wait. To cut the story short, I got the documentation. I sent it over to Rolf from Iron Skull Motorcycle. It's a garage in Torremolinos, and Rolf, who's taking care of this, started looking into it. The problem is we have a second lockdown right now, or in Spain it's probably the third or fourth, I don't really know, but there's another lockdown now. All the shops are closed. Um, so the whole process has been stopped again. I'm literally just waiting to be able to get this paperwork sorted, to pay the tax that I need to pay, which sadly it's gonna be really expensive now that the UK left Europe. Uh, it's, it's counted as a third country, and so the taxes are going way higher. I'm basically having to pay the VAT costs of the bike, which isn't cheap. And so in a nutshell, this is the reason I haven't been posting videos. We are in a lockdown here. I'm not doing much. I'm working uh, during the week and the weekends. I try to go for a walk a little bit, but right now all the shops are closed, but the essentials, you can go shopping and so on. So there's not much to do and there's so very little to report that I got really stuck and I didn't have any ideas which stories I could tell you about me uh, and my travels. And yeah, so I apologize for that. I had no content and no stories to tell. And the other reason I'm not writing is I've got the English license plate, Spanish driving license. So every time I want to go for a ride, I need to buy an insurance for that particular day or the days that I want to ride. And the reason for that is that my English insurance only insures you for two months outside of the UK or basically in Europe, 
which is now way past. So I don't want to ride uninsured. I don't want to pay for this extra insurance, not because it's super expensive, but at the end of the day is way more expensive than your normal insurance. So yeah, Jelly Bean is pretty sad in the garage. I am pretty sad that I cannot ride and show you this beautiful, beautiful scenery and roads that are here. I wish I could. They said the lockdown is gonna last for two weeks. People are talking about Easter reopening again or earlier, we don't know. And so for now, I really have very little to report. Once I get to do all the work with Jelly Bean, doing the matriculation process and bringing Jelly Bean to Iron Skull's motorcycle and you know doing all the revision that they have to do before they go to the basically the Spanish MOT, I'm definitely gonna record. I'm gonna take you with me on that journey. But for now, there's literally very little that I can tell you. And so yeah, I'm really sorry that I don't have any updates for you. But once I have, I'm gonna continue. If there's anything you wanna know about me, about my trip, about my plans, or anything at all, just leave a comment down below. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I'll see you next time. Have fun.